What is up everybody, welcome to another tutorial and in this video I'm really excited to show you how to solve the CPU problem, the CPU glitching and uh, lag spiking that you get uh, up here in Ableton once you start playing back things. <clears throat> well for me this whole thing started happening uh, once I upgraded to version 9.5 before that, I was running 9.2 on the very same machine, same specs, nothing changed, and everything was fine. So uh, it really is a software-related problem. It is, is, it is definitely not my hardware because I haven't changed anything. <clears throat> As you can see now, um, Ableton is idling around 6% without me doing anything. And up here, I've pulled uh, four plugins. Uh, Contact piano, another contact piano, absent and massive, and just like some simple MIDI that I drew. And once I try to play that back, <clears throat> uh, you'll see the the CPU meter jumping uh, all the way up and probably glitching. So have a listen. This is absolutely ridiculous because in the past. I've made huge, huge projects on Ableton, probably more than 40, 50 tracks, and I did have no problems at all. Um, my computer is a high-spec computer, I'm running um, Intel i7 4790K, I have 16 gigs of uh, RAM, I'm running my uh, Windows on an SSD, so I shouldn't have any problem running Ableton <laughs> and, and uh, 5 tracks of, uh, of instruments. So uh, it, I'll show you how I fix my problem. First of all, you gotta make sure um, if you if you have a multi-threaded CPU, you gotta make sure you got uh, multi-core processing enabled. So you switch that on, and you will you might or might not notice a CPU improvement over here. Uh, let's have a listen. Well, it it has improved slightly, but. But such a high spec computer should not be doing uh, 60 or 70 percent of CPU usage. So uh, the second thing that you might need to check is uh, your audio preferences and making sure you're running the correct drivers and um, you have the right um, latency. So for me, I've always ran my interface at 48 kilohertz uh, using the Focusrite drivers, the one that came with my interface. Um, that should not be a problem. So I was pretty sure that was not the problem. And as you can see here, I'm running my ISO buffer on the uh, lowest settings, which gives me the lowest input latency. That is how I was always running my interface and Ableton, and I did not have any problems in the past. The next thing that you might need to consider, and this is what actually did the fix for me, um, is going to your uh, power settings, the Windows power settings. So if you go to additional power settings, just right here. Mine for some reason, probably after Windows update, it was on power saver. And that was making my uh, CPU glitch and I'll explain you why. If you go to the change power settings and then uh, advanced power settings, you can see this little list here of um, various settings. and. If you go to processor and power management and open this little tabs over here, you'll see that the minimum processor state is at 5%, which means at idling it might go all the way down to 5%. It might turbo thread all the way up to 100%. So in my case, I went to the manufacturer's website and I found out that the 4790K has a base frequency of uh, 4 GHz and a maximum turbo frequency of 4.4. So essentially, let's call up the calculator. Essentially, let's say the base frequency is 4000 Hz and I multiply that by 5%. That means I'm running my CPU at 200 Hz when it's idling. And once Ableton throws some uh, audio stuff at it, it cranks all the way up to 4.4 GHz. So, um, 
ideally I should be idling my CPU around this value over here otherwise I am undervolting it and that causes the glitches that is what it was causing the glitches for me and I'll show you right now so if we go back to uh, the power settings over here and first of all scrap that always choose the high performance profile because the high performance profile um, has this uh, power management setting all the way up to 91 and if you actually want to be safe on the safe side just put at the minimum uh, percentage 100 and the maximum 200 and you will have peace of mind so I'll show you right now if I go back to Ableton without me changing the project nothing very same settings very same project same instruments it is idling at 1% and once I play everything back together it's only using like 11% of my um, CPU which is a normal value and actually I'm gonna duplicate everything here so this is six channels I'm gonna duplicate them once twice duplicate everything again and one more time everything again that is a lot of channels alright let me minimize everything so now I have approximately about 56 channels and they all, some of them have uh, MIDI playing, some of them are just empty channels but let's say I have 56 channels and probably 30 of them are active and I'm gonna play back and as you can see, look at that no glitches, nothing, and my CPU is working around 50% overall and just to double check if you go to your task manager if you go to your task manager you can see that the overall CPU usage of your system matches the one with Ableton Ableton is using 49-53% and the overall CPU usage is around 50-60-70% and I'm actually screen recording right now so this is the realistic value of CPU usage that Ableton uses. So um, for me, changing the um, the Windows power settings is what was uh, throttling me and was was giving me all these kind of glitches. And I'm really happy I've solved the problem. It was giving me so much headache for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I was reading forums, watching videos, but nobody. Uh, was actually giving me a clear uh, solution to the problem and yeah now I'm sharing this uh, tip with you and I hope you can get back to producing music um, yeah, as soon as possible